I'm here in the Florio Peninsula, although some people pronounce it Florier Peninsula, and there's a lot of debate about the name. But anyway, look, it is a fancy name, but do you know where it is? Okay, I'll give you a hint. If you were born and bred in South Australia, you would. Now I'm here on my constant search to find fantastic regional produce, and we're going to sample some of the best from local cockles, to venison, to black angus beef. Oh, it's all on the menu. <laughs> Okay, back to the original question. Where is this Flurio Peninsula? Well, to use that old classic, it's a hidden gem and it's only a 40 minute drive from Adelaide. The peninsula embraces both the famous McLaren Vale wine district and a very beautiful coastline, including the seaside resorts of Victor Harbour and Goolwa. On your jet star for being our sky chauffeurs and delivering us smoothly to the city of churches. It's a very easy trip to McLaren Vale, but it's a rain check for me on the vineyards. Instead, I have an appointment at the nearby Mount Compass with some very shy individuals who shun camera crews. And they hang out here at the Warunga Venison Farm. Hey, did you see the kangaroo running with the deers? Hey, it could be an omen for a new movie, Running with a Deer. Most people think that farmed deers are actually domesticated, but they're not. They're a completely wild animal, which does pose some problems in the farming. Not so much in keeping them in a paddock, but <laughs> in rounding them up. It can prove pretty difficult. They like to scatter. They run on instinct. There they go. These deers definitely don't give a damn about their 15 minutes of fame. More your Greta Garbos than Paris Hiltons. There they go. There they go again. Going. Going. Gone. Now, if you're worried about deer having a, that gamey flavour, they actually don't. And the reason for that is that uh, they're sold off when they're quite young. Like the bucks, they call them spikers because they've just got little antlers, just tiny ones, and they're sold off to market and the meat is fantastic. If they get a little bit older, then they castrate them and that stops that real gamey flavour getting into the meat. Sorry guys, I don't mean to upset you. Now, the deer may be shy, in fact they are, but Judith Phillips is not and she used to sell hair products for a living, but now she's the perfectly quaffed PR machine for the local industry and the creator of Mount Compass Venison with its extraordinary range of products including sausages, ham, burgers and pate. Wow. It's pretty smooth. That's beautiful. Very creamy. And it, you can taste it's venison too. Yes. Like, you know, like people are used to chicken liver pate and all that sort of thing, but that's really, really lovely. Why would people be frightened to eat venison? I think they just don't know what the product is. Bambi and burgers. Don't, don't you dare. Sorry. Don't shoot me. Who would shoot you? <laughs> the industry. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's However, what people are thinking, that, though. That's what they think. I totally, totally, totally agree. That's what they think. But we call them venison burgers. Now our current obsession is with all things healthy, lean and low fat. And that's where your venison scores big points. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I've selected a top side for my cooking experiment and I've also chosen Fino in nearby Wollonga. In this 19th century cottage, acclaimed chef David Swain's first rule is no menus. His passion, beautiful meals from the best local produce. Passionate, they put love into growing the produce, you put love into cooking it. Yeah. And I'm going to put love into eating it. <laughs> and what are you going to do with yours? I'm doing a carpaccio of venison with pickled beetroot and horseradish cream. Yum! First, give the venison a good beating. When you just can start seeing yeah. the other side, you know it's thin enough. Well, it's all in the pursuit of the perfect carpaccio. It's like art, isn't it? It's like an autumn leaf. Just the horseradish cream, a sprinkle of beetroot, fresh herbs. So beautiful. Oh, so simple. Do you want to know what I'm doing? I'm not going to tell you because we've got to go to a break. And when you come back, I'll cook, so please hurry. Oh, also, in a little while, there's a little special treat called the old cockle dance. Can you do it? Can indeed. Have you done it? Never. You're doing well. <laughs> Hurry up, come back. Now, David, yes. I've got a confession to make. I've never actually made this before. 
So I might need a little bit of help and advice. My dish is going to be a venison topside stuffed with Madeira soaked figs. Mm. Thank you, Madeira. I made, <laughs> I made a joke. It's very good. I'm going to cut a hole right through the middle of it. Yeah. And then I'm going to stuff it. I'm going to stuff it with some uh, dried figs, uh, some crushed walnuts. Walnuts and figs, beautiful together. And also um, some goat's cheese. Now this is local, isn't it? It is local goat's cheese. Being that I've never made it before, I don't know what amounts I'm using, I'm just guessing. Can I pour those herbs in? I love them. And it is very messy. I am a messy chef and I should have had an apron. You should have. But, um, <laughs> And then all I'm going to do is season it with salt and pepper. Put it in a fry pan, seal it, whack it in the oven for 15 minutes. Done. Yeah, I'm Beautiful. pretty... I think it's very That's good. good. I wouldn't go any um, rarer and the cheese is held together. Yep, looks good. I think we've done um, the venison. venison. <laughs> I'm so excited. And Judith, proud. I think you have. I'm very excited about this dish. If you'd like to cook it for the first time, then just check out the recipe at mercuriosmenu.com. Wow, what a stunning velvety texture. Good way to eat venison. Mm. This one works perfectly. Beautiful food, beautiful dish. Now what's the best thing about living and working here? Um, we only open two nights a week, so <laughs> we can go down to the beach now. Mm. Oh, we can go down to the beach after we finish eating. <laughs> Better hurry up. Yeah, the beaches. Everybody's been telling me to check out the amazing beaches in Southern Florio. So I'm doing it. And they're right. Bloody gorgeous. Oh, and that's Skye. She's one of the famous Clydesdales that ferries tourists out to Granite Island. But my mission is cockles. And around here, it's becoming big business. Today, the professionals are trucking right down Goolwa Beach to show me how it's done. Oh, by the way, if you're confused, only South Australians call them cockles. The rest of us know them as pippies. She's a beauty. It's hard to believe about five years ago, these were only considered to be good for bait. That's right, they'd just chuck them on a fishing line and whatever. Now, all the restaurants, the main restaurants in Sydney and Melbourne and whatnot are clamming to get them. Clamming to get them, it's almost a gag. But they are beautiful and I have some lovely plans for these ones. Oh yes. I might need a few more though. Chris Wilton is a career cockler. 